Greetings everyone, The Good Tonight here, and today I'm going to give you a review on the Granite Gear Padded Patrol Belt. Particular favorite of, my, of mine due to its low profile. Now I'm actually wearing a large right here as it sits lower, is nice and comfy and out of the way. So the large is pretty fantastic. Sitting lower, it has plenty of clearance to be used in conjunction with a plate carrier. And it's actually got some unique features. So I've got some mag pouches, gloves dangling here, IFAC on the rear. On well, the left side, 40 millimeter grenades and a dump pouch. So, a few very unique things about this is this medium, which fits relatively high, is better for a uh, belt only use, not in conjunction with a plate carrier for me. And the durability is actually quite surprising because this one, at some point, actually cracked on the buckle here. However, it has had no impact on the uh, actual. <clears throat> Durability of the belt itself still holds shut and works fantastic. Now, what's interesting is you got three three white molly here, but it's all single space, so you can mount your stuff through here normally. However, there's also a gap here, which is double wide, so you can mount certain items, magazine pouches and stuff, directly through here far more expediently. On the back, you've got your size, and yeah, there you go, your granite gear information right there. And this little elastic strap connects to the rest of the inner belt and keeps it all in place. Now the inner belt is non-removable, so this is the only inner belt you get. So don't uh, don't go crazy, don't cut it or anything. But yeah, it's got your little padding in here. It's nice and cool. It fits really comfortably, and being small, smaller than most battle belts, it's really comfy. I wouldn't put too much heavy weight on it because you're not gonna have any additional support. But a few extra things. So if you're using your plate carrier, it's easy to get through, get to the things immediately on the front. A bit more challenging on the sides due to shoulders. So, if you're not, especially if you're not carrying a pistol, putting extra mags and stuff down here on the sides. Incredibly easy to get access to up to the front, so generally in this area is where you want to gear anyway. So yeah, pretty cool little belt. I actually like it. They're not, they're not terribly expensive either. They only run close to like, I think $30 or so. And the buckles don't come undone unless you want them undone, so... Then you have, how much space is on here? Actually, I know there's a one space difference between the medium and the long, so yeah, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So you got 11 per side, so 22 total. Probably want to leave the first two or three open, so it doesn't get in the way if you have to take a knee. Let's sling it over here and clip it. And that's all there is to it. Fantastic little, uh, my go-to battle belt. I've tried using a few other ones in the past, and the need of an inner belt, and just a few of the ways they're set up, they're usually too a wide, so they're belt only build, never meant to be used, used with a plate carrier, so yeah, this is my particular favorite, and I mean, they have it on Amazon, they got it on the website, so highly recommend it. I think it comes in green and black as well, and maybe even, actually, you know, this one is the brown one, so yeah, so he got three colors, I know of anyway. I think they might have, was it multi cam and stuff as well, but. Eh, don't really remember yet. I'd have to look that up myself. So, there you go. Fantastic belt. Just wanted to give it my official recommendation and let you guys know it existed. So, if it can help out any of your gear requirements, then hey, now you know. Go go, go uh, check it out. So, if you had any questions about it, hopefully that kind of fills it in. I'm not really sure how to adjust it. It kind of just fits where it fits, and I leave it lie there. So, cheers everyone. Stay chivalrous.